Today is a totally, totally crazy day. This is probably the craziest idea I ever had, but there is there is reasoning behind it. It's all about a grand piano. But since we're living in a world of COVID-19 still in 2021, I first need to get like one of these unpleasing nose test kind of things. It's always, it tingles, it tingles in a way that, that oh, it's not pleasing. But anyways, just like five minutes and it enables me to do everything I want. Persons that are tested, fully vaccinated, I'm just half vaccinated. And people that recovered in the past couple of months are allowed to go to stores, buy stuff, explore stuff. This was fun, a lot of fun. I I played, I mean, with my limited ability to play, I played Steinway grand pianos that are like 100, 112 years old and worth like 30, 40, 50, 60, 110,000 euros, which is insane if you just think about it, so much money. But unfortunately, as always, I've tested like all of them from like a seven and a half thousand Yamaha G2, like a baby grand up to the great grand grand super grand piano. There is a difference. <laughs> it doesn't sound twice as good, but the more expensive ones usually sounded, no, not usually, they always sounded better. And on the same price level, it was more a matter of taste. Like one of them was more like singing and sustaining notes. One was a little grittier, one had more overtones, one was really bright. Whew, I, I never nerded about like pianos in that kind of way. Um, I feel really, feel really bad like sitting here in front of my, which is really great, like it's a weighted keys like keyboard, but there's such a huge difference in how it feels, how it plays, and especially how it sounds. So yes, um, I'm getting a grand piano. I don't know which one. And before you now trash me and say, hey, why? And it's so unnecessary and blah, 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 blah. There is a bigger picture to it and a reason that absolutely makes sense. Not only in my world, you know, I'm gear addicted, everything makes sense that is like more gear, but actual sense, like really sense. I'll explain it in a bit, but um, I will now go upstairs, work on a song, produce music, cause like I, I need to finish another one. As you know, I signed a song to the label of um, Lost Frequencies. One song will be out in July, beginning of July, and then the next one. That's the one I'm working on right now, and I need to finish it as soon as possible. Just give in. Reject all your conditioning. I have to say, yesterday I didn't make music at all because I didn't feel like it. Today I worked again on music and it made twice to three times as much fun. So break every once in a while is actually wise. Also that new song I'm working on is actually the first instrumental in I think eight or nine years I'm working on. Still not sure if I should slap vocals on top, but it just really works without having any in there. So I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll try to get someone to sing maybe small snippets on top. And if it's too much, just remove it again or maybe use it for another song. There are a lot of options. Next up, taking care of the hair situation. Since I got tested today, I'm allowed to also go to a hairdresser, fix my hair really, really quick. And then we'll talk about the, the grand piano. I'm using the, the mirror to reflect the ceiling lights into my face. I have, you see, no lights. Not looking good, like, looking good. But yeah, uh, 
I will tell tonight Vanessa that I'm buying a grand piano. Um, the thing is, and, and please tell me if it doesn't make any sense, but I think it's smart. Because, like, a friend of mine has a friend, he's like a German... Yeah, he's, I'd say he's a known German singer, songwriter, piano player. And he wants to record in my studio something because he lives close by due to COVID. He can't go anywhere else, really. And he likes my music and trusts me as an engineer. And we also have Andy the Gear Guy in the studio assisting. So he wants us to record for him a couple of songs, maybe even an entire album and he requires a grand piano and drums. The drums we already have, and he's doing like like 80s influenced kind of stuff, 70s, 80s, which is perfect. We have a drum set from exactly that time, but we don't have a grand piano. And he actually has a budget that is so big that it's worth it to actually buy it. And I'm still not sure, like maybe I'll rent one, but since I'm anyways learning how to play, why not buy one, use it for maybe one, two, three years, and then you can sell it again. Usually grand pianos, at least if you buy them used, they usually go up a little in price, just a tiny bit, depending on which kind of piano. If it's a Steinway, it's probably going up if it's in good condition. If it's like a, a like Chinese something brand, then like, no, you're just wasting your money. So yeah, that's kind of my thinking. I got someone that pays me a lot if I have a grand piano, so I'm getting one. And then I can either keep it and I kind of got it for less or free and it's not losing its value. Maybe it's just me that just wants to have one. <laughs> like usually I would just say, just go somewhere else and record it there. But I'm really excited to record for that person. It could be very inspirational. It could be very fun. It could be also interesting for the vlog, interesting for me as an artist, interesting for my team to handle it. It would be it would be like good for the studio to, to work on, on something bigger, a bigger project like that. I don't know. But I, I have like the inner feel to do it. And I think it's smart. Not sure, I'll think about it, but I think it's smart. And right now the budget, like, I would love to get like a Yamaha C3, which is like a very standard grand piano that a lot of people know. It's like, it's like the grand piano and it's used a lot in studios, has a brighter tone to it and it's more like a, a 90s pop kind of piano. I also tested in that store a really old Steinway, 18, no, 1908. Got like redone entirely 18 years ago. It still has original ivory keys, looks beautiful, and it sounded today in that store the best. I, I think it even beat like some of the 40, 60 grand like pianos but it's, it's still 25,000. That's way, way above budget. I think it's smart, I don't know, let me know. Maybe it's just my gear addiction, but I usually think if, if you need a tool to get a certain job and that job pays for the tool, even if it's just half, it's already worth it because then you have that tool, you can still sell it. You definitely made a plus. You can keep it and have another job. Maybe if we record that one guy, we have two or three other guys showing up. Now all of a sudden we have a grand piano. I don't know. And there's still this debate if plugins aren't better than a grand piano, but trust me, I've tested today a lot. It sounds different. It sounds better, no question. Like no matter what kind of plugin, yes, they're amazing. They sample the nicest pianos and whatnot, but standing there in front of one and hearing it directly and playing it feels entirely different. These things are actually worth their money, believe it or not. They're insanely expensive, but there's still a huge gap to, to a normal standard plugin. But let's see, I, I still haven't decided and I want to get a feel for these grand pianos, so I'm not deciding it right now. This project is anyways for October, so I got a couple more months to go to different stores check the pianos, listen to them, compare them, 
but today this really old Steinway one, it's like a, a US imported one, just sounded like bright and nice. Like let's maybe go through the clips really quick because I recorded like a C major chord on all of them. I think it's Steinway, cheap Chinese one, an old Steinway, Yamaha G2, and a Kawai, I forgot the name of it, but the first one, the Steinway. It's just bright, it has like bite and attack, it's so nice. Ah, unfortunately, the expensive stuff, it's just that hint better and once you know it exists, you just want it. You you can't settle for, for the lesser. I hate that, but it's with everything like that. I don't know. Anyways, let me know in the comments. Grand piano, yes or no?